You think this is a good look for me? Welcome back, Deep Your View TV viewers. Chris Nichols here, and today we're looking at a very interesting Lens Baby product for our midweek short. Now, Lens Baby is a company are famous for making bendable lenses, playing with bokeh, doing interesting aperture effects. But today we're looking at the Omni filter system, which really harkens back to the days of putting Vaseline in front of lenses or pantyhose, or you know, holding cellophane in front of your lenses, changing different colors, doing weird effects, prisms, and the like. And this just does it in a more slick way. Now, traditionally we. We've just held things with our hands or tape or all manner of very unprofessional looking stuff to hold things in front of the lens. But what's really neat about the Lens Baby system is you've got adapter rings, one for smaller lenses, 49 to 58, and then one for larger lenses, 62 to 77 millimeters. And with those adapter rings, you then put on this large metallic plate. What this basically lets you do is then attach their proprietary magnet system. You can see just double-ended magnets, and each of the attachments that we can put in front of the lens has this little metal ball on it. Now I can click that metal ball in place, either directly to it or using a, an arm to separate the distance somewhat. And then as you can see, I can rotate it and I can adjust it and I can move it. Now myself, I actually found it far easier to just hold these by hand the old fashioned way, move it around the lens until I got a rough idea of what effect I wanted to and then memorizing that, recreate it with the magnet system and then I'm hands free. I found this particular system just a little bit slow and a little bit limiting and clunky to adjust things. Again, it'll depend on your patience level and how you want to do it. If the camera's set up on a tripod and you can take your time, you might want to adjust it this way. If you're more free shooting or on the street and you want to do things handheld, you actually might find that hand holding things just like this works even better. Now you might be seeing on your screen now a very subtle effect created by the one that Jordan's using. This is one you saw when we we're just articulating it and showing you how the magnets work. This is basically something you can use as a soft focus diffuser, but it also splits any bright light source into two-way stars in a very you know interesting rainbow pattern. I'm sure it's pretty stunning right now. This is another one that we played with. We've had a little bit of time with it. Basically, it's a thin crystal ice kind of looking piece of glass. You can get a very clear image to the center. So I could see this as framing a portrait in the middle and then getting very interesting lights around that person. Here's another more busy one. This is basically exactly the same as a chandelier crystal. And uh, again, very busy pattern that creates lots of distortion, lights just going in many different directions and bending around. But my final one that I actually found to be one of my favorites is this prism. Now this prism, as you rotate it, can give you basically reflected images. You can see here I reflected the sky into the foreground. This can also be a lot of fun to play with. Uh, now the only thing I will say is that these glass objects are indeed absolutely glass. So first off, you gotta keep them clean, otherwise you get a real smudging kind of effect. The other thing, somebody whose name I won't mention that starts with a J may have dropped this <laughs> on the rocks, and uh, they will break, so do be careful, this is actual glass. Don't worry, you're not seeing a twin image of me. There's only one of me in the world. Thank God. <laughs> Although I bet you all have some neighbor or person in your apartment that probably looks exactly like me. I'm sure you'll comment about it. But uh, no, what Jordan's actually doing is shooting video right now with the prism attachment in front. And you know, we've been talking about photos and honestly, my impression using this over the last few days, I prefer hand holding them. I think it's far quicker, more simple. I can get things adjusted. I can experiment with them and I really like that. But for video, you can't really hand hold these things unless you're okay with a lot of wacky movement going on. You're really gonna wanna lock things off and use the adapter. And actually, an interesting side story, Jordan did shoot a film recently, he was DPing on. They were having to set up glass plates to get actually a very similar effect. It took a lot of time and effort to get these things held at just the right angle. And actually, a product like this could be really effective for video. I think this has great uses, not only for still photography, but for motion as well. All right, so just to let you know, lastly, Jordan is using the weird ice crystal-y thing. I have no idea. It's probably doing some crazy stuff down in this area. But, you know, I want you to consider a few things. Now, first off, this Lens Baby Omni kit is fairly expensive for what you're getting. And you do have to factor that in. 
are there some uses for this in actual practical uh, photography? I think so. I mean, I think a lot of people who do portraits or weddings could make this a fun, interesting part of the repertoire. And consider that if you show up with a bunch of DIY craft stuff that you're taping to the front and moving around awkwardly, that might look a little unprofessional. This could certainly give things a much cleaner and much easier way to work with these fun, interesting effects, uh, although you are going to pay for it. Is it a gimmick? Yes. But is it also incredibly fun? Yes, absolutely. And again, that's a big part of photography is just letting go of the rules, not worrying so much about quality and just having fun. So if you feel that for the cost, this will provide you a certain level of fun and a certain level of inspiring creativity, I would say absolutely go for it. Hope you guys enjoyed this short review on the new Omni Creative Filter Kit from Lens Baby. Don't forget to leave comments below. Let us know what you think. Check out Instagram, check out Twitter, please subscribe. And uh, thanks so much for joining us with this very fun, very very gimmicky, interesting new product.